Hi guys and welcome to this continuation of the Auto Hotkey tutorials for beginners. In this video I'm going to be talking about the AND, OR and NOT operand which we can use with the IF and ELSE statements um, that we already saw in the last video. So um, these three operands um, are used to create more complicated uh, let's say conditions to be met uh, to execute code depending on it. So uh, let's actually take a look at how they work in general. So first of all let's take a look at the NOT operand which is the easiest to understand. Let's have a variable here which contains nothing and what we're going to do is that we're going to um, test if not variable 1. Else message box false. So, what is going to happen here, and this is uh, something that we must take in consideration, is that the not operand, which by the way I'm making an abbreviation for it, the not operand, what it does is that um, returns the opposite of what that particular variable is returning. So, variable 1 at the moment is empty. If you test that with an if statement, what is going to happen is that it's going to return false, right? Because zero or empty means false in general. Now, when I use the not operand, then I'm going to return the opposite of what that variable is returning. So again, the variable is returning false, so the, this is going to return true at the end. So when I run this script, I get a true message box here because this not operand is actually returning the opposite. You can do the same by typing the keyword not after, you know, before the variable. It is exactly the same. Um, you can use the abbreviation for it. So basically this one does the opposite. In this case if I put a one in here then it's gonna be false. So you're doing exactly the opposite of what it would normally return. Now we have the AND and OR operand. They are similar but actually opposite. So we have two variables and what is going to happen is that the AND operand um, checks whether those two variables return true. And actually what is happening is that let's imagine two parentheses at the moment and what is happening is that the AND operand is testing two separate expressions, one on the left and one on the right, and both of those expressions should return true. At the moment they are because both of them, um, both of the of the variables are set, um, so they are going to return true. If I change one of them to zero or empty, automatically the whole expression will return false because the AND operand only returns true if both expressions are true. Um, you can leave out the parentheses. It will work the same. So in general I was just trying to make a point to, to make you visualize what is happening. We have two separate expressions right there. Um, the same with the OR um, operand. It, but in this case it is going to work it is going to be similar but it's op the opposite. It will only return false when both of them are false. So if either of them is true, then the whole expression will always return true. So basically, um, to get a false, they both must be false, right? Now, um, Again, these two things, they do have um, an abbreviation. The OR, the OR operand has two pipes as an abbreviation and the AND operand is two ampersands. Um, so you can say this here. And that is, both must be true, so we can have a true, right? And for the OR, you know, the same. So basically, these are the three uh, operands that we can use with the if statement. You can put several um, operands one after the other. So, for example, you are going to do this um, var3. Now we can have a variable 3 that we're going to test as well. And then you have to f 
get this image in your mind. You first are going to test these two expressions, right? But then you're going to test these two expressions. So, in general, this should be true and this should be true. So this AND operand returns a 1. And after it returns a 1, then this should be true as well, and that one as well, right? So this AND operand returns true. So if uh, at the moment we are getting uh, true, if you change any of them to false, the whole thing is going to return a false. Why? Because um, variable 1 is false. These two things actually are going to return a false at the end. And as we have a zero in here, which is false, then this AND operand is not going to work as well. But if you if you change this to an OR, for example, then we're going to get a TRUE, because one of them is returning TRUE, which is this one right here. Now, if you change that one to zero, then the whole thing returns false again. So, um, again, it, I, just, I don't want to confuse you, even though maybe I already did. But in general, you can create very complex um, um, expressions here. And one piece of advice that I have for you is that always, always use parentheses when you're actually working with AND or, or NOT operands. The reason is that, let's, let's take a look at this scenario. We have one variable here, call, that is going to contain text, right? So you remember that when we did the normal um, check, we set this, for example. You note that we are not actually quoting the, the string text there, because as I mentioned in the other video, the equal sign makes everything on the right side to be a string. So we have a true right, right there, right? Now, whenever you put an AND operand or any other operand right next to it, everything is converted to expressions. So at the moment, this is going to return false, even though this expression in general is true. So we have this which returns true, and this should return true as well, but it won't. And actually, even if you put the quotation marks, it will still return false. And that is something that it is a little bit confusing, and it is... Um, something that I would say that is an implementation error, in, an implementation error in general, but you can solve that by simply putting your your percent signs around, which forces the whole thing to be an expression, and right away when you quote your text, then it's going to return true. So, again, whenever you use AND or, or NOT operands, I would recommend you to actually put um, um, parentheses around it, force the expression, and whenever you're using strings of text, then put your quotation marks. So, um, one quick example of, for example, what I would do with a NOT operand, um, is that I can actually create a very cool script, that what it does is that, for example, we have a hotkey that will assign to a variable the opposite of it, oh, the opposite of itself. And then, depending if that variable is true, I'm going to do something else, message box false. And it might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but it is not. Actually, the variable at the beginning, when I press the hotkey the first time, the variable is false, which is zero, right? If you assign the opposite of zero to that variable, what you're going to get is true. And when you press the hotkey again, the variable already contains true, right? And you're going to assign the opposite, which is false. So this expression, what is going to happen is that every time you press the hotkey, you're going to get a different message box. And you would say, well, uh, what is the good in that? Well, I already have a very good use for it. You see this GUI here? When I press a hotkey, it shows and hides. And that is because I am actually using this type of toggle. It is a toggle, right? It just simply toggles between 0 and 1. And what I am doing with that GUI is that if it is 1, then I show the GUI. If it is not 1, if it is 0, then I'm going to hide the GUI. And that is something that it is, um, it shows you how powerful you can, uh, how, how powerful things you can do with just a condition and actually making your script execute code depending on the situation. So, um, 
with that I'm going to be finishing this video there's more to it than this I'm just simply going through the basics of it um, if I have the time later on I will create an advanced video for this whole um, uh, if and else statement thing we still need to cover some other options that the if and else statement have like for example if in between if in this and that you will see that in the next video but for now let's just finish here um, I will say that I hope that this particular video clarifies some of the questions regarding the and or and not operands and again keep in mind whenever you use any of them if it is the if, if it is the keyword or if it's the abbreviation put parentheses around it so you can save yourself a lot of troubles a lot of times you can make mistakes that you could have solved just because of putting those two parentheses there so um, thank you guys for watching pass by the IRC channel to make your questions I am usually there um, go to the forums and see you again next time.